Over our lifetime, the average person will sleep 229,961 hours, which is basically a third of our lives. You see, the thing is, most of us follow a monophasic sleep pattern, meaning we sleep one time per day. But there's something a little less common known as polyphasic sleep, meaning you sleep more than twice per day. Some sleep hackers claim to thrive mentally and physically off as little as two to three hours of sleep per day, spread out over a series of naps. A popular polyphasic sleep pattern is called the Uberman sleep schedule, not to be confused with the Uber driver. This schedule consists of six 20 minute naps, four hours apart for a total of three hours of sleep per day, utilized by Leonardo da Vinci, Thomas Edison, and for the next 50 hours, me. How hard can it be? When it comes to sleep deprivation, it's important to keep yourself engaged because ghrelin, the hunger hormone, will be my worst enemy and my cortisol levels will probably be so high that a bachelor rose ceremony will cause a fight or flight response. So I went on Google and searched how to prepare for an all-nighter and I said to have a plan. So, I have a plan. One, 10K steps before dawn. Two, I have this extremely scrumptious video of Katie and I's travels to Europe that I need to edit. And then three, I wanna go for a meal extremely late at night for no other reason other than the fact that I think it will be an absolute vibe. It is 10 minutes to midnight now, gearing up for nap number one, and I am pretty nervous, not gonna lie. No, I'm actually very nervous. This seems like this will be the hardest video I've ever done in my entire life. Typically, it takes me 10 to 20 minutes to fall asleep, but just like the time I was catfished, I'm gonna hop in bed, close my eyes, and hope it comes quick because every single minute is absolutely precious these next two days. I can already tell I'm gonna be super moody. Like I'm gonna snap faster than a crossfitter's body. But hopefully we can use this anger to feel a PR in the upcoming days. It is currently 1.19 in the morning, which is a bit of an odd time for a walk right now where woodland creatures, insomniacs, and stalkers are my only available companion. But the real question is, if a stranger knocks me out, does that count as a nap? Don't think for a second we didn't come prepared here. Look at this. I don't even turn this on. Wait, hold up. Uh oh. Oh, definitely not that. I get some rabid raccoons running at me here. We are walking by pure woods right now. So I'm just gonna look straight, keep my eyes to myself. Because, like walking in on your parents, there's some things that you truly can't unsee. But if something was to emerge from the bushes, hopefully it's six foot two, strong hands and has a slight British accent. <sighs> Best way to describe how this feels right now is that I am in The Walking Dead and I'm like that last person who has not got the memo to leave. And I'm about to get attacked by a zombie. Apologies for looking incredibly terrifying. I will say, I am loving this walk. It is just me out here. The crickets are chirping. Crickets are chirping. Do crickets chirp? I feel so calm and it has my guard so down that an acorn dropping would have me shitting myself faster than a Taco Bell menu challenge. Like one loud sound and this walk would instantly become a run. Hopefully I don't run into a skunk because this nose has far more important things to welcome in it. Um, but we're just gonna chill. And uh, on the bright side, step game unparalleled unparalleled. It is currently 2.06 in the a.m. and I feel great but my tummy is rumbling right now so I want to go get some food and it turns out there's a 24-hour diner like 10 minutes away from my house. Oh you need oil? Well I need sleep. Suck it up. Don't you all just hate city traffic? <laughs> just about 2.30. Take a look at this parking lot. It's kind of reminding me throwing me back to university where I'd strike out at the bar, so I head out for a meal on my own. But when I drove by, there was human beings inside. Like literal human beings. Crazy. Good thing I made reservations. <laughs> my stomach is making noises I'd never heard it make before. And I think that's because I'm usually asleep at this time that I don't hear it. I knew ghrelin was gonna be bullying me, but right now it's super sane, so we're gonna be eating big. Like, I'm not holding back. This is like a bodybuilder's wet dream here. We have egg whites, we have regular eggs, we have six ounce chicken breast, we have roasted potatoes, we have turkey bacon, we have toast, 
I'm taking carbs after dark to a whole new level. And then I have a Pepsi. Well, I didn't order a Pepsi. Who orders Pepsi? Nobody orders Pepsi. You order Coke, then they say, is Pepsi okay? Then you say, is anything okay? And then they just look at you for a second and walk away and then bring you the Pepsi. I want to know how they managed to get the egg whites this fluffy. I, I actually don't want to know how they do that. I definitely don't want to know how they do that. You got like the Greek potato. Now it's mashed potato. Potatoes at 3.07 in the morning. It grows like a bad boy. It is currently a little after 5.30 right now. I was extremely tired after waking up from nap number two. I feel like getting up is gonna be harder and harder each time, which is making me think that Johnny Sims might be the greatest athlete of our generation. I am like a little over six minutes into the video of Katie and I, which is crazy. So I'm very productive right now. I'm loving this challenge so far, loving it. I'm sorry if I sound like a child waking up from anesthesia. I'm starting to wonder if this is even beneficial to my health. My brain feels just like bashing the side of my head. And I feel like I am gonna throw up momentarily. If Dwayne The Rock Johnson came up to me and proposed, I would probably fall asleep before I could say yes. Just made myself an egg white frittata. I feel good again, as you can probably tell. An hour ago, I would have thought that this frittata looked like a six month old deep dish pizza or the sun with a very bad skincare routine. I was searching what is the benefit to polyphasic sleep and couldn't find anything other than it's beneficial to people who don't get any sleep at all. And then you scroll down and then there's just this long list of health risks for people who don't sleep enough. I'm gonna eat this up, I'm gonna utilize this energy, head to the gym and uh, see what happens. I literally look like I'm about to die. Now, considering I don't think you could be in a more catabolic state unless you switch places with Life of Pi, the workout was not too bad. Maybe I was just scared I was gonna lie on the bench and end up with the barbell as my alarm clock. But surprisingly, I had the motivation to train, which I did not expect. The weights did feel heavier than normal, which I did expect. And it did take me a lot longer to get through the workout. This is definitely what a guy on gear feels like when he trains natty. But overall, I'm surprised and I'll take it. My confidence right now is at an all time high. I am absolutely gonna rock this challenge. For the next few hours, rocking this challenge is exactly what I did. I go for my nap, I'd wake up, I'd get to work, I'd get stuff done, I would do my meetings. I really started to think that this schedule was for me. I felt unstoppable until that feeling went away. Current time is 4.44. If I'm gonna wake up from the next nap, you're gonna have to attach electrodes to me because otherwise I'm gonna sleep right through that damn alarm. I am so unproductive. The beginning of this video is quite good actually, but then once you hit the middle, it has the flow of the Iggy Azalea verse. Like it is all over the place. It is terrible. If Katie sees this, there will be consequences. It is currently 1141. Uh, you must be wondering, Will, why do you look so cute? Well, I was going for sexy guys. I just got my hair cut, as you can see. Short on the sides, long on top. After that, we went for sushi for some dinner, my first meal since the egg white frittata, which is insane. I was way too lazy to cook. And in my current state, if I did cook, the meat would be raw anyway, so salmon rolls over salmonella, you know what I mean? After that, then I napped. I was a night owl before, but now I am a permanently exhausted pigeon. This is a level of exhaustion that is dangerous and intense. Am I being a dramatic YouTuber? No, I am not. Nap time. After every nap, I feel like more of me is left behind in bed. Also, is a 20 minute nap enough to develop morning breath? If that's the case, I should probably brush my teeth. Walk time. Nothing like a 3 a.m. walk to remember why you were afraid of the dark as a kid. I have my keys locked in between my fingers like I'm Wolverine. Here I am chilling by this ominous tree. Then I heard something and got scared. So I began to run. Snack time. Damn it. 3.42 right now. Um, at this point, I'd welcome Freddy Krueger because at least then I'd be sleeping. I have been watching this show called C with Jason Momoa. 
best show I've watched in such a long time. It's about a bunch of blind people and a few people can see, but right now I can currently relate more to the blind people. I am snacking on some dark chocolate. Unfortunately, the only dark chocolate I have the energy to enjoy right now. We got this, we got this. Seven forty-four. I've pretty much been battling the entire time not to close my eyes. Um, my head is really, really bad right now. My bed has seen a lot of weird things, but the only thing it's going to see when this challenge is done is the love that I have for it. I wanted to cut back on the amount of coffee that I'm consuming, so I'm going to be making an energy drink, an 18th century energy drink. It's either this or I dip into the latest shipment again, and I will for sure get caught. So this is called Switchel apple cider vinegar. There's molasses, but I got the fancy molasses. I'm just a, I'm just a fancy guy. And then some powdered ginger. This molasses has expired in 2019, but my mom said it's fine. So if I die and this is my last YouTube video, that is my mom's fault. Oh, oh this smells like butt. Mm. Molasses time lapse. <laughs> Now what we do is mix. This really looks like my toilet after some bad Indian food. Oh. All right, time to switch up on them with some switchel. Hey, Snookums, do you want some switchel? No. Well, right now this sets a whole new standard of stink. It smells like very intensified kombucha. If your standards are low and you're wanting an energy drink, this is for you. I'll let you guys know in like an hour. It, this gives me some energy. Cheers. Satan's bathwater, also known as Switchel. I think it worked, but just like Turkestrone, it's probably placebo. I'm in a really pissy mood right now, but we are currently waiting for an Uber to go work out because me behind the wheel would be concerning at best. It would literally look like Grand Theft Auto. The easiest five stars I've ever earned. Jorge? Where? How's it going, man? I haven't slept since Tuesday. Just about one o'clock now, and I'm going to attempt to train. I have been pushing it off for just, I'm tired of being tired and talking about how tired I am. So I'm sorry if I'm complaining too much, but yeah, this is bad. For the people that ain't close to No way I could normally do like 20 reps And I just I think I, mean, I, just, I just do like four Apparently there are five stages to sleep deprivation uh, Stage number one is something that we all know With puffiness under our eyes Dark circles Drowsiness, feeling fatigued But then stage number two happens after the 36 hour mark And that's when you have things like behavioral changes it's difficult for you to process new information, but uh, overall, I'd work out atrocious. I'm gonna cut it short because in the fine print, at the very bottom of stage two, it says it is okay to skip leg day. And I just feel like I'll hurt myself if I try to squat. Just to see how impaired I was, I went head to head against my mom in a series of reaction and visual memory tests. The first one was a reaction test where my mom went first and got the reaction time of a 24 year old. After that, I went and got the reaction time of a 57 year old, which is absolutely insane. No offense to 57 year old people. You guys are not old yet. You guys are just, your lives are just getting started. But then after that, my mom went again to flex on me and she got the reaction time of a 26 year old. Damn you, mom. Next up, test number two, we had to test our visual memory, remembering where each tile was. My mom got level six. After that, I came out victorious and got level seven. Still though, looking at the graph, it looks like majority of the population scores around level 10. So it looks like me and my mom both have a lot of work to do. 5.30 right now, and I'm not even kidding you when I tell you that this is my first meal of the day other than the energy drink. Very nauseous, so I'm gonna eat this. Um, I can't sit in front of a screen anymore, so I'm probably just gonna try to get outside. I have been doing work on my knees. That's where I usually have my full attention. It is 8 p.m. now, and I should be having my nap right now, but I made the executive decision to skip that nap and just grind out the last four hours because I know if I go to sleep right now, I'm gonna be out for the rest of the day. Let the final countdown begin.
10.32 the next day. Definitely do not feel like myself. I probably won't for the next couple of days. I do not wish that upon anybody. That was extremely tough. People think, you know, going to bed at 2 a.m. and then waking up at 4 a.m., you're grinding, you're getting more stuff done, you're working super hard, but if you're not with a clear mind, what's the point? I'd rather take productivity over time any day of the week. Get those seven to nine hours in if you can. So wrapping it up here, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.